up guys today we are going to talk about how to make this model in fusion 360 all right so let us begin let us go to the sketch menu and inside the sketch menu let's go to the circle sub menu and select center diameter circle select the xy plane then go ahead and create a 200 mm diameter okay then let's go ahead and select the line tool create a line it can be any length then let's create an offset all right so we need to create an opening right here because if you want to flatten out this cylinder it cannot be closed from all sides we need to have an opening somewhere so that we can open it right from there so let's click on T to select the trim tool and select this small opening let's make these lines as a construction line by clicking X on the keyboard then we need to go and select the sheet metal environment select the outline of the circle create flange it can be something like uh, 120 you can give it a distance here if you want or you can enter it right here click ok all right so now let's select this face and click the extrude and click the e button on the keyboard for extrude we need to go and select join from the operation menu in the extrude menu bar and use this window to create a 1 mm but 0.5 mm extrusion okay now select this face go to modify unfold select unfold all bins click ok go back to your home view and here you have the cylinder which is open right now and we go ahead and insert SVG go and select the pattern that we made in illustrator click the middle of that small UI that you see click here and drag to scale it maybe a little bit smaller okay okay so what we will get is half of it will be netted and half of it will be solid object click on ok ok in fusion if you select anything from left to right it will select these faces if you select from right to left it will select everything including this back face but we don't want to include this we need to include only these pattern that we actually imported from illustrator so you go ahead and drag and release okay now you see everything is selected you rotate the camera by middle mouse button and shift rotate go to the other side create extrude we need to create an opening so we can actually see through to create the net effect so you select this face so what will happen is it will create the netted kind of effect that we are looking for it will subtract all the faces where we have the selection okay we go and click ok now let us go to refold faces refold 
now we get the original shape that we created in the first place of the cylinder with the net but we need to close this opening that we see by selecting this face right here then go to create extrude rotate the camera and select the other side of the face go to operation and select join click ok go back to your home view now we have a closed surface from all sides so of course we need to have a closed base so that we can actually use it so what we need to do is we go to the bottom middle mouse button and drag go to create in fact sketch circle center diameter circle click the bottom surface click in the center and then drag until you select the edge of the outer surface select the bottom create extrude create a new body and the new body can be something like 10 mm from the bottom so what happens is we actually get a 10 mm base go back to our model environment and select the body one which is the outer surface the netted and the solid surface and then we click shift and select the bottom surface which is the together go to modify combine join okay so now what we left is one body we have this one body which is now ready for 3d printing so now we can go ahead and save the body as an stl file click ok you can give it any name i already have it made before so i will just give it a separate name that's it all you need to do is now import this model in simplify 3d or cura and you're ready to 3d print it thank you guys um, i hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, please subscribe like and comment and share the video if you think it's useful uh, i'll see you in the next one